Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today we're going to be taking a look at yet another peculiar Clone Wars character and this time around it's the turn of the Aquadroid. Now this is a very strange looking figure but one that I was really looking forward to picking up mainly due to the fact that I've seen reviews on this guy online and by guys like flyguy.net and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on this dude due to the amount of features and the overall size of him as well. Uh, he's a very impressive figure, um, definitely in scale with figures such as um, the new General Grievous. You know, he's very tall and very stocky. So a really cool figure all around. And I'll get onto some of his features and finer details in a moment. First up, though, we are going to take a look at the packaging that this guy comes in. And once again, it's the Shadow of the Dark Side blue and black packaging with the image of the Aquadroid at the top. Um, once again these are US imports so you've got the 30 day free membership online code for the uh, Clone Wars Adventures video game which I will share with you in a moment. On the back of the packaging you've got what appears to be a photoshopped mock up of the Aquadroid um, in a underwater situation um, as well as an image of the figure at the side, fi uh, character description underneath and the rest of the wave pictured along the bottom. So there is the packaging for the Aquadroid, very very cool. And as I said, I will share with you the uh, 30 day membership code for the Clone Wars Adventures game. So, once again, if you want to pause the video, jot that code down and you can uh, enter that in clonewarsadventures.com. Uh, and once again, like with most Clone Wars products nowadays, he does come with a battle game card and display stand with a very cool image on the top there. So really really cool image. Now on to the figure. Now he doesn't come with any weapons, mainly because he's actually got weapons built into him. Um, but for me the most impressive aspect of this figure is, as I said, the overall scale, as he's very tall. And also the amount of features and articulation and just various different you know, elements of this guy that really do make him really cool. Um, Above all, I also really like the sculpt. He's got this very sort of skeletal, um, very robotic, I know he's a droid, but a very robotic build to him, um, made out of all various joints and uh, stuff like that. Very, very cool. Um, as I said, he doesn't come with any weapons to hold in his hands, but he does have um, a mounted, well, I'm assuming is a blaster, um, on his wrist, which can be removed. I'm not going to do that right now as I've got a very shaky hand and I'm probably going to lose it. But he's only got that on one hand, so he's similar to a super battle droid in the sense that he uses the weapons on one arm. Um, and that's about it for weaponry. But in terms of articulation, I really don't know where to begin with this guy because he's really packed to the brim. Um, no real articulation in the head. Um, most of the articulation is located in the neck and even then it doesn't move around too much due to the fact that the head sort of snaps into place and sort of hides itself in the body um, very similar to I guess how the battle droids look in the Phantom Menace when they sort of fold up um, you can do pretty much all of that with this figure as the head um, slots into the body and then the rest of the figure is that articulated that it literally folds up as well so yeah not much articulation in the neck unfortunately due to the fact that if you move it the head um, will simply either come off like that <laughs> or it will just uh, fall inside the body so yeah um, quite a peculiar bit of movement in that aspect um, he does have ball hinge shoulders I believe um, which don't move around too much due to these rather large bicep pieces um, but they do you know they do move around to an extent if you move the biceps but if you've just got his hands by his side then they won't move very well at all um, speaking of the bicep, he does have a joint there as well, which is a sort of a swivel ball joint. So as you can see, you can swivel that joint and also bend it. But the joint is very tight, so that doesn't really display very well. He does have hinged elbows and no articulation in the wrists. He also has a swivel torso in one place, so it's more like a, yeah, a swivel chest almost. Um, he also has ball hinged hips, ball hinged knees and various elements of articulation in the ankles. As you can see the ankles do pivot 
in two places and they basically fold up um, to recreate this sort of swimming mode that we see in the Clone Wars episodes where these guys appear and they sort of you know swim along like that so packed with articulation is this guy really impressed with that and as I said you can basically get this guy in the uh, folded up position that we see the battle droids in in the Phantom Menace um, so other than articulation and the, the lack of accessories that come with this guy there's really not much else to talk about um, other than the really the overall sculpt which I, as I said I really do like um, before I finish up this review I will show you the aqua droid in the folded up uh, formation as it were um, which can be quite fiddly but uh, bear with me and I'm assuming this is how he folds up but uh, do correct me if I'm wrong but you know you get him into a, a very small and very compact pose like that um, so really if you're worried about shelf space because of this guy's size you don't really have to worry too much because um, they will you know sort of pose in various sizes if you know what I mean um, you can bend them and pose them so that they uh, do look a little bit smaller and don't take up as much room which is pretty cool so there we go that's the aqua droid from wave 2 of 2011 of the clone wars line i'll be back with one more review from this wave next and then it's uh, well it's sort of a, a gap really as uh, i don't have much else to review until uh, a few new items arrive in the post but there we go oh no uh, someone's getting burgled outside, so I do apologise about that. So I'm going to shout over the... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> a rough neighbourhood. <laughs> but there you go. That is the uh, Aquadroid from the Clone Wars line. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure. And I'll be back with more reviews very soon. Until next time, keep collecting. And may the Force be with you.